Greetings and welcome. In today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a timer that counts down until the level quits or the player dies. And I'm gonna just create a new project, first person template, because then we know what we get. And you know, I thought that this kind of mechanism or function would be cool if you put it at the end of your level. So let's say you have two thirds of the level being just a regular level, the player walking around, killing enemies, picking up pickups, and doing whatever, and then suddenly he enters a room that activates, let's say, a self destruct. Thing, you know, and so the mother mothership he is on will self destruct in 100 seconds or 50 seconds or whatever, and then the player have to, you know, run to the end in order to not die. <laughs> so that's the idea, at least. You can use it for whatever you want, and maybe I'll just give you some ideas. Um. Let's just call it self destruct tutorial. Self destruct tutorial. So in another tutorial I might show you how you can create a pickup that will stop the self-destruction from happening uh, or maybe prolong it or whatever but I'm not, not gonna do that now I'm just gonna show you how to create this one thing I'm just you know deleting some boxes and whatever because 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 okay so, just gonna build it real quickly. Loop. Yes. Okay. So, first things first. First, I'm gonna go into blueprints and create a new blueprint. An actor. And I'm gonna call this. Annihilation Annihilation Yes So this is the Annihilation Blueprint <laughs> Okay So I will start by creating a scene Just a normal regular scene That's good And then I'm gonna add some text because we want I'm gonna create a makeshift you know display with the timer going down or counting down um, count down that's probably good enough So I'm going to set this for 10, because this is just going to be to show you. You might want to give the player a little bit more time than 10 seconds, but <laughs> that's not necessary right now. And we want another text render, um, and it's going to be the bomb text. Let's this isn't really a bomb because there won't be no explosion, there won't be anything, but you know, you can add all of this later if you want. Um, so the text for the bomb text should be seconds to annihilation. Like that.
I don't even know if this is right. Annihilation. If it's not right, then I should have Googled it or whatever, but I did not. But isn't it supposed to update? It's not updating. You see that? It says something else here than it does here. Then I'm gonna do it again. Just because. There we go. So I'm gonna place them more or less where they should be and more or less how big it maybe like that make this a little bit bigger ten second <laughs> I didn't even see that sick hence there we go Um. Yeah. Name it bomb text like that. And yeah, I'm gonna use a static mesh as the makeshift screen. I'm gonna call that. How about just screen? Queen. And for it, I'm just gonna use just a cube, just a little cube. Yes. Zoop. Zoop. Now this cube is almost the same color. That's too uncool, man. You're gonna create your own perfect, awesome, amazing screen, so it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. But maybe, I haven't tried this before, but maybe, 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 no, that I can't. But I might, yes. That was ugly. How about just going up like this? No, it just... So I'm just changing the colors and the text just to make them more visible. Like that. And compile and save. And I'm gonna save the map as well, just, just in case. Okay, so now we will set up the graph. No, one more thing, one more thing. I'm gonna have to create a variable and it's gonna be an integer and I'm just gonna call that integer. So, 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 so. Now we start by creating an event tick. Event tick with its delta seconds on and also we are going oh I forgot we're gonna create a collision box a collision volume that when the player enters it or overlaps the volume then the time the countdown will start so box 
box should be this big, let's say. Like it would be enough to just set this, put this box right where the player enters the room. So just place it where the door is and then boom, the countdown will begin. So, like that. Now we will go down here. But first, I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna call it Bomb Trigger Area. Like that. Now, go down to Events and click Add Event for Bomb Trigger Area. I'm gonna take add on component begin overlap. So now we're gonna create a branch from the event tick boolean and the condition that will initiate the countdown will be the component begin overlap. So from sweep, connect this to the condition like that. And then drag true out and add a, del a delay this will say how quickly the countdown will go or how quickly it will count down so I'm just gonna take one for one second and then we're gonna take the integer and we're gonna set it so I'm holding alt key down and dragging it out to set it and I want to get it as well, so I'm holding control down and dragging it out. I'm gonna drag this out and I'm gonna take a minus like that. So and connect this to that, and I'm gonna write one. And very important, when having the integer selected, make sure it is set at 10, if you choose 10 seconds. So if you choose, you know, 100 seconds, then set the integer to 100 on the default value. Now connect the delay to that, to the set. Next thing now is to make sure uh, it is connected to you know the text so we're gonna drag this out from set and search for set text and we're gonna set the countdown text and take another version of the integer in here and get it and you can just drag it out and connect it and it will convert it to the correct uh, variable type or value type um, now we can check I guess if it's actually counting down so back here you see the annihilation blueprint drag this out here it is I'm gonna place it on the wall, boom, like that. Now let's see if it actually counts down. Boom, there it goes. Yay! What happens? Nothing, it just keeps on going. <laughs> But that's not right. Well, at least it's counting down. So, now we will make sure the interesting part happens. So, after set text, we're gonna create a new branch. And the condition will be if the integer reaches minus one it should, you know, quit the level. 
So um, we're going to take equal. So if it is less or equal to minus one, that's the condition. If that's true, then quit game. Simple as that. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, and the level is quit. So, you know, that's it. And as I said later, I might show you how you can use an item or a switch or whatever to stop this from happening or prolong it. But that's not in this tutorial. So, hope you had fun and learned something. And yeah, have a great day and peace out.